Fencing. Um, easily trains the electric fence. That's the beauty of pigs. Uh, they're very clever. Uh, they can pick this up in a hurry. Um, if you're introducing young pigs to the electric fence, though, uh, you need to have a physical barrier around them because one of the first things that will happen is they'll hit that electric fence, not know what the hell's going on, and just take off. And they'll go through the fence, and they'll end up on the other, other side of town before you know it. Uh, so what we do is we set up a little temporary area. Uh, well, we don't really do this anymore because we raise our piglets, and they sort of figure out the fence on their own accord. But if I'm ever bringing in pigs, if I were to, again, uh, I would set up a temporary uh, pen. You know, it doesn't have to be too large. Put electric fencing across one side of it. Put a little cord on the ground. As they go in for that, uh, they're going to get zapped. And if they freak out and they go through the fence instead of go back the other way, they'll just hit a physical barrier. Um, and you can get a few laughs. Um, easiest uh, fencing is step-in uh, fence posts, which you can purchase at, at any uh, agricultural supply store, tractor supply, what have you. You can see the type that we use down at the bottom. Plastic fence posts. Um, with uh, built-in brackets at various heights. Um, they run $2 a piece. Get a couple, couple of those. We have hundreds of them because we do everything with them. Um, poly wire uh, is better than either electrical tape or metal wire. You know, uh, it's, it's, it carries a good charge and it's easy to wind up and it's easy to handle. Um, and a solar charger. Uh, you can get set up with all this stuff for in the neighborhood of four or five hundred dollars, um, and then you have it forever. Um, and you can use it season after season. Uh, make sure your charger is in the sun and firmly connected. Uh, obviously, if you have, if you're keeping them anywhere near outbuildings and have electricity, a plug-in charger is an even better idea because it carries a better charge and has less worry attached to it. But if you have them out in the woods, uh, a solar power charger of almost any uh, uh, voltage uh, amperage. Uh, will do uh, so long as you have a ground rod that's long enough, at least six feet long, and driven in as far as you can get it to go. Um, and if you can pick an area with wetter ground, the better. That'll make your charge uh, that much stronger. Uh, two strands. Uh, some places run their pigs on one strand. In fact, if I go back down here, Warren Wilson College, they had one strand. And uh, I was astounded by that because I've had pigs that jump. Um, apparently, their pigs don't know how to jump, but mine do. Uh, so I use two strands for a couple of reasons. One, like I said, they can jump. Um, two is, since pigs love to root, they'll root up the ground, and very often they'll toss it over that bottom line and uh, weigh it down. And without another line, that's basically just a bridge for them to step right over. Um, so I put the, the first strand, depending on the age of the pig, I try to put it just below their eye level because uh, the way, like I said, a pig goes into the world is with its nose down and rooting. And if you put the strand too high, what it's liable to do is, before it even knows it, be halfway under that fence. And then it gets a charge, sometimes on the, on the small of its back, and it's is, is liable to run forward its back. So put it down at eye level so that as it's rooting along, it's kind of out of the corner of its eye, able to see that bottom strand and know that it's getting close. Uh, fencing continued. Uh, make sure your line is clear of sticks. Like I said, pigs love to root things up. And you know, sticks, lumber. Uh, they toss them over the fence all the time. And since you're probably, hopefully, going to be running them in a wooded area, that's a problem to consider. Check the line as often as possible, every day if you can. Uh, because uh, five, 10 minutes a day, checking that line to clear it of debris is going to save you hours of chasing pigs. Uh, they're smart enough to learn the fence, but they also know when it's not working. So check that fence regularly. You can get a fence tester, you can be brave, and just put a blade of grass on there. Or you can make your uh, farm intern, your hired guy, just grab it. Uh, that'll work too. Uh, in winter, uh, if you're ever going to overwinter pigs, I don't trust an electric fence because of snow and because how destructive pigs are. I always want a physical barrier. So I basically use either cattle or hog panels, which are 16 foot lengths of corrugated metal, uh, and I just lash them to T posts that I drive into the ground. Um, and I just tie them up with a little twine, uh, you know, baling twine um, out, made out of, uh, 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 what you call it? Not jutes. Uh, anyways, uh, it's compostable, uh, it's, it's uh, a natural material, so if the pigs chew on it, it's not going to get into their system like nylon will. Uh, and then I can just easily cut and move fencing. Um, every winter, to a greater or lesser degree, I put up new fencing. Um, I don't like to have a permanent area for confinement, so I move, I mean, I have a certain set aside area of the farm, but I change the pens up and I try to get in there and, and till it uh, and make it look a little bit better. One more thing about fence. I've got a little 
kind of it hangs on it and it flashes when it's working or not working. I forget which way it goes. But that's a remote yeah. uh, checker and it really works good. Yeah, that's certainly great if you've got like a permanent fence line, something that's going to no, be up for I a long time. Fence. You, you just know, you put it on a temporary fence? Yeah, because it flashes, I forget if it flashes, if it works or it doesn't work. Yeah. You, you can see it from you know a quarter mile away. Well, where's the fun of grabbing the fence then? <laughs> there's no, I, there's there's none of, there isn't any, by the way. No, there's not. Right. Uh, I'll have to look into that. It, actually, but Westcroft has it. Okay. I'll have to they check that out. They were good. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually know that was a And you could see it at night, daytime. You know, yeah, you could just sort check of eyeball it. it before you get, you get too close. You get warned before the pig figures it out. Yeah, well, that's, that's very important because they figured it out in a hurry. Good to know.